Hey everybody, this is the intro, and in this tutorial we're going to be going over creating just a few basic uh, mathematical or arithmetic functions and how to do it. So we're going to go to console application, of course, click that, C++, um, and I'll just name this calculator. open up our main file what we're gonna first want to add to our file is the include CSTD LIB and what that's going to do is actually give us this um, this header file will give us a um, function that we're gonna be using or command that we're gonna be using called the rand function and what the rand function basically does is it just outputs any random number and also the CMath. So I'll show you how the um, CSTD LIB works or the C standard library header file works really fast. We can go ahead and see how a ran or a random number and then just build and run. And we got 41. So obviously you can see how that works. That's pretty basic. So what we're gonna do here is create a or four different functions that represent multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So first we're gonna create an addition function, which we'll just create a comment here. So addition function, then a subtraction function, then a multiplication function and a division function. So these are all just going to be voided functions since we don't have any return return values. So let's name this div go up here. Create all the functions for the um for what we're going to be doing first so it's just a little bit easier as we go along at least. Okay, so now that we have our functions created, our addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, we are going to want to just prototype them all really quick. So, which of course you don't have to do first before we're um, calling them, but I just find it a little easier to work with if we have them all prototyped right off the get go. So. Um, Alright, so now that we have our functions prototyped, we can go ahead and start writing them. So what we're going to write in our add function first is, <coughs> excuse me, so for this first um, tutorial, we're going to be going over just basic two integer um, functions. So I'll have two integers that we can add two integers for subtraction, multiplication, and division. And my next tutorial will be going over adding as many as you want. So I could use as many um, values or um, variables as I want. So if I wanted to add 20 numbers together, 50 or 60. And then also in the next tutorial after that, be going over how to use it all coincide. So we can have some addition functions worth working with subtraction, multiplication, and division functions as well. So what we're going to want to do is just create a um, simple float. And we're just going to use add1 and add2 as our variables. And we're going to create another float. Well, actually, we'll just do this. So see how it's addition function oh, I can't type right now okay so addition function and line and for that we're just going to say um, enter two values so I can just say addition function 
um, please, <clears throat> please enter two values. And what we'll do is just uh, store them both and add one and add two. Cannot type right now. Okay, so once we have those two variables stored, we're just going to want to create um, an output operator that says, okay, we have these two variables that we're going to want to add together. So once we do that, we just have this simple um, addition function created. Now we're just going to move on and do basically the same thing for every single one. So flow um, subtraction one and float subtraction two. So and that see how I'm actually I could have just copy and pasted that, but. Bear with me, I cannot type right now. Alright, so I ask them to enter two values again, store them again, in our subtraction one and in our subtraction two. Once we have them both stored, again, just create uh, an operator in parentheses that's going to um, subtract those two variables that are entered. And that. And that's the end of our subtraction function. After I'm done with my functions, I like to close them out just to reduce you know, the amount of redundancy that's on the screen. So once we have those closed out, go to the multiplication function and yet again do the same thing so float multiplication one multiplication two and see out um, enter two values so give it some room actually in the line and store the variables again and again create the arithmetic operator to do the calculation for us so we're just going to have for multiplication Mult one times multiplication two. Okay, and that's all done. So the next one, we'll close this one. For our division, we're just going to do the same thing again. Forgot to create the variables. You could also create them obviously on sep separate lines if you didn't know, like this. That would work perfectly fine, but obviously it's less redundant to have it just in one line, in one doc declaration, so it's a lot easier to work with at least and read after you're done developing it. So we're just going to um, take our user input and store that into them two variables just as we did in the other functions and create the arithmetic operator okay and that and here we go so we can just end this um, close them all out 
And what we'll do is we'll test them. So going back up, we see we have the C standard library. And actually, we didn't use the random function. Um, didn't use the random function yet. We'll actually go through over that in the next tutorial. Um, so we didn't use a random function, but what we can do is go through and make sure that our functions are working properly just by prototyping them one at a time. So add, prototype it, run it, make sure there's no problems. Okay, so we have, oh, okay, so I declared the float value twice. Let's see if I did that in any of the other ones. Okay, so we should be good now. Okay, so addition function. Please enter two values. As you can see, we prototyped the addition function, so it called the addition function. So what we're going to do is enter our two values. So if I have 50 plus, click enter, and then plus 499, we get an answer of 549 so that's basically how we use our functions and of course we can always go back and choose a different function so if I just wanted our subtraction function I could also just rebuild that and run it and what we we'll get is our subtraction function into two values 7 and 7 minus 4 which is equal to 3 we can actually go through here and um, set it so that it says something like answer and space and then the arithmetic operator so that when I type in div or I prototype my function div or the division function I can just run it and this way when I do it, if I do 6 divided by 2, I get the answer, little room, and then the actual value for the answer. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and have a good day.